quick, simple drill, bringing two load sharing bees, two static lines for repelling on, and two dynamic belay lines running through MPDs. Uh, it should take you no more than 10 minutes. You'll see that we've already set edge protection for our edges, designating our four lines, as well as setting uh, travel restraints so that we can already approach the edge. Once you've set those things, your timer starts. Okay, let's hit it. while Todd sets his static line, ID and his belay to verify that all my gates are locked and up on my carabiners. Do a visual inspection of my own, visual inspection of Todd's, IDs are correctly rigged, the MPDs are correctly rigged, and we are off to the races. Time. Let's take a quick break here. Um, we're going to disconnect from our ropes, then we're going to run through the individual components explaining to you what is where and why. Our anchor point, our anchor selection, as you can see here, we have what we call a load sharing V. We want to check our catenary angle is 90 or less, definitely no more than a 90 degree. And we can see that on both our load sharing Vs. So we take one bag, we drop an end down to the ground, we trace it back and we create our first V. That one, you're going to be hard tying it in with a double loop, um, a double loop figure eight follow through. Your center V, you can use anchor straps. And when we have a look at our anchor straps, you're going to put an anchor strap with a basket hitch with a round turn. So it snugs nicely and tightly against your anchor point. That's going to allow you to use figure eight on a bike where we can adjust our slack here so that we can adjust the apex of our Vs. And then on our far side, we finish off again, we're gonna be finishing off with a double loop figure eight follow through. We tie figure eight on a bite into our apex. And then we take the tail of our static line and we simply carabiner 
be carabiner it in. Then we're going to take our belay device, and obviously our belay point can't go to the same rescuer on the same line. It must cross, otherwise we come down to a single critical point. And we're not going to do that. We're going to allow for any part that can fail. We're going to allow to ensure that it's backed up with something else. Ideally, this would be done with four anchor points, but you absolutely can use three. So that as long as any single anchor point, if it fails, is still backed up by something else. Okay? Anything to add, Todd?